special meeting of council at 2 p.m. on Wednesday the 13th of July 2022. Can I please remind you all to switch your phones to silent for the duration of the meeting and turn your microphones to mute unless you are speaking. Should you wish to ask a question or make a comment, can you please indicate either via the chat function or by raising your electronic hand via Teams? When speaking, please introduce yourself. I assume that you have all read the paperwork before us today prior to the start of the meeting. I am Robert Wood, Mayor. It is with great sadness that I inform the Council of the death of former councillor Stephen Williams, who represented the Kimla Ward between 2004 and 2008. As a mark of respect, can I ask Council to observe a minute silence, please? Council, will you join with me in congratulating Dr Keith Reid, who received an MBE for services to the NHS during the COVID pandemic in the recent honours for the Queen's birthday. Congratulations. Well done. Agenda item two, members' interests. Are there any interests to declare? Please indicate by raising your electronic hand via Teams and when called, state details. The Democratic Services Officer will forward a declaration of interest form to you to compete and to return to the officer. I can see no indications highlighting any declarations, Mr Mayor. So there, there are no to declare. Uh, thanks, Jane. Right, we now have a statement by the Leader of Council. I call upon Councillor Steve Hunt, Leader, to address the Council, please. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Mr Mayor, I would like to set out for Council this afternoon details of how the Rainbow Coalition, Camblaid and Envis intends to work and our early areas of focus. But before I do that, Mr Mayor, can I once again congratulate all members of Council on the election or re-election? I'd like to particularly mention Councillor Saif Rahman and Sharon Frigad, who were re-elected to represent the Port Talbot Ward just a couple of weeks ago. Welcome back, Saif and Sharon. I want to start by acknowledging that there are many things we can all be proud of in the chamber today, and for those of you who are all online today with teams. I believe that one of the strong features of this council is the way we are able to work together across the political groups to do our best for all the communities of Neath Port Talbot. There have, of course, been occasions where we have held different points of views on priorities or approaches. I see that as a strength. Understanding our different perspectives through healthy dem democratic debate is something our coalition intends to respect and encourage. We will no doubt continue to have healthy debates on a whole range of issues over this term, but today I extend an invitation to all members of Council to work with us and put forward you what you believe to be important so the needs of all our communities can be built into our programme. In terms of our initial programme, the Coalition has achieved a clear consensus on the things we intend to focus upon and how we want to work together. As we begin our term of office, we want to be clear that we intend to build on the strengths of this Council. We have a first class workforce. On behalf of the Rainbow Coalition, I want to affirm our commitment to the further development of the social partnership 
and the council recognised trade unions. The council's workforce was extraordinary at the height of the pandemic, and we are very conscious of the hard work being done across all services as we move from pandemic into recovery. We will be giving the chief executive and her team our full support as we work through the transition that is taking place and will be giving early consideration to a future of work strategy this autumn to ensure the council is able to recruit and retain a happy and high quality workforce. We will also be prioritizing continuous engagement with our communities as well as acting on what we heard on the doorsteps during the election campaign. We'll be further developing the Let's Talk initiative, developed through the cross-party recovery work done last year. Hearing from residents and taking the time to clearly explain what we are doing or not doing will be at the centre of our work. We will be taking immediate steps to enhance the way the Council connects with its communities. We will also be making a renewed commitment to working in the partnership with others and look forward to meeting with partners from the community, voluntary, private and public sectors to discuss and agree where we have a shared agenda. Mr Mayor, I hope this gives a flavour of the principles that will guide the way the coalition will be working to deliver our very best for the people we represent. This brings me to our early areas of focus. I want to start by acknowledging the importance of education and social services, giving all children the best start in life, whilst also safeguarding and supporting children and vulnerable adults are fundamental to the Council's work. We are confident that we have excellent leaders across our schools and services, but we are also clear that the pandemic has left considerable challenges. We will make sure these services benefit from strong political leadership and support. Whilst maintaining our commitment to the big statutory services, we intend to give greater priority to our visible services. These are services that have seen big cutbacks because of Westminster government austerity policies. But our residents may not be aware of all the reasons behind the reductions in service. They place the responsibility firmly at the Council's door. We will be making early provision in the Council revenue and capital bud budget to enhance our public realm and also initiate a series of policies and service reviews to strengthen the visual service in response to what our residents have told us what matters to them. We are also looking forward to making appointments to the head of housing and communities post and the head of leisure, tourism, culture and heritage post. These appointments together with the new cabinet portfolios will enable us to set a clear route map for the remainder of this term and beyond. Whilst also completing the transfer of indoor leisure services back into Council's direct control successfully. We will also be accelerating progress towards achieving the net zero carbon targets and completing a remodeling of the economic development function. So we are better placed to secure an exciting private sector interest in the county borough, supporting social enterprises. Strengthening our local economy is a sustainable way and also plays a, a strong role in, in regional arrangements. As a council, we are now recruiting for many posts in several departments. This gives us an opportunity for local people to begin a career in local government and be part of the teams that are delivering our important services. Mr Mayor, the Rainbow Coalition, we have established, have a shared view of where we need to focus our attention and how we will work together to improve life for all our residents. Serving our communities is one thing that unites us all in this room and online, of course. Elected representatives and council staff alike have the same priorities. I know from having worked with many of you over the past 14 years and those I have worked with in, in a short period of time, that however much we may disagree at times, we are all here to do the best we can for the residents of Neath Port Albert County Borough Council so that we can deliver 
the quality services they want, they need, and they rightly expect. I will finish, Mr. Mayor, by saying I am honoured, honoured, humbled, and proud to lead Neath Portalba County Better Council. I look forward to the next five years to working together across the council as mem with members and officers, and by looking forward, not back, so that we can deliver for our towns, deliver for our villages, and ultimately deliver for our residents. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for this opportunity this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Leader, for that statement. Um, going on to agenda item four, which is public question time. I can confirm that we have received no notifications to speak at today's meeting. Agenda item five, Neath Potoba County Better Council Standards Committee, appointment of independent members. I call upon Craig Griffiths, Head of Legal Services, to introduce the report. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. So this report is before members today because we need to uh, progress now undertake an a recruitment planning and selection exercise in respect of the recruitment of two of our independent lay members for our standards committee, given that our current vice chair's tenure will expire sadly at the end of this current year and cannot be extended any further. So the report before members today is ask me to have approval to start that commencement process where I'll be advertising over the summer. We'll be convening some interviews then in the autumn and I'll be bringing a report back to members in the autumn identifying who the successful applicants will be. I'm happy to take any questions on that, Mr. Mayor, but if not, I'll hand back to you. Thanks for that, Craig. Members, are there any questions or comments? Please use your electronic hand or indicate via the chat function, and I will call upon you in turn. I can see one hand up there. Uh, Councillor Matthew Crowley. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Councillor Matthew Crowley, Sandfields East. I just wondered, uh, Mr. Mayor, we haven't had a roll call this morning. Uh, is that happening at all today, or are we skipping that and just taking it as read? Oh, Mr. Mayor, if I can just explain now that we will no longer be taking roll calls in any of the meetings. The Democratic Services team are logging um, the membership of every meeting, so there will be no roll calls anymore in any of the meetings. Uh, Thank thanks you, Mr. for Mayor, that answer, Jane. That Thank you for that, Jane. I appreciate it. Thanks very much, Mr. Mayor. Thanks. Uh, I can't see any other indications. Um, I, I now refer Council to the recommendation on page five of the circulated report. Could I have a proposal and a seconder, please? I'm happy to move the motion, Mr. Mayor. Happy to second, Mr. Mayor. Council, if you do not indicate to the contrary by raising your electronic hand, it will be assumed that you are in favour of the recommendations. I can see no hands raised, Mr Mayor, so those recommendations have been approved. Thanks very much, Shane. Uh, agenda item six, changes to political proportionality and committee membership. I call upon Craig Griffiths, Head of Legal Services, to introduce the report. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. So, purely an administrative report for myself, members on this matter, to confirm that following the local government election in the Talbot Ward at the end of June, there required some changes to the Council's membership of its various committees and outside bodies. So, the paragraph um, 3A of the report sets out what those changes, A, B, and C, and D, sorry, sets out the changes that have been highlighted there for members to approve. In addition, as well, we are required under uh, our various bits of legislation to appoint a community councillor representative to our standards committee. In discussion with our community council and town council colleagues and one voice fails, the nominee put forward is Councillor Carolyn Edwards from Brangrach Community Council. So members are asked to agree that today. And also as well, members, we also have council identified member champions in respect of various matters who represent the authority and champion particular causes. There is no delegated or decision making powers vesting in those individuals. But paragraph five of your report sets up the member champions for council to approve in this regard. So happy to take any questions, Mr. Mayor, on that matter. Thank you, Craig. Members, are there any questions or comments? Please raise your electronic hand to indicate or indicate via the chat function and I will call upon you in, in turn. I can see no indications there. I now refer Council to the recommendations on page 34 and Appendix 1 to the circulated report. Could I have a proposal and a seconder, please? I am happy to move the recommendation, Mr Mayor. Happy to second the recommendation, Mr Mayor. 
Council, if you do not indicate to the country, country by raising your electronic hand, it will be assumed that you are in favour of the recommendations. I can see no hands raised, Mr Mayor, so that recommendations have been approved. Thank you, Jane. Agenda item seven, notice of motion under section 10 of part four rules and procedure. I have received no notices of motion from members for today's meeting. Agenda item eight, questions from members with notice under rule 9.2 of the council's procedure rules. I have received no questions under rule 9.2 from members for today's meeting. Agenda item nine, which is urgent items. I have none. That ends the business for today's meeting. All go off and have a nice summer. After a very trying year, we've, we've had elections and we've all been very busy. And we're now in the throes of uh, what seems to be an impending heat wave. So that ends the business for today and thank you all for attending. Enjoy, all the best, bye. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Bye all. Thank you. Thanks all.